As usual, I'll be streaming over on Twitch as this video goes up, so why not go and drop a follow? And make sure to subscribe over here. A lot of the people who watch the videos aren't actually subscribed, so if you could, that'd honestly mean the world. It helps out a lot, and enjoy the video. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna right click down here, you wanna press new, and then you wanna press text, and then you wanna type what you want on the screen, so I'm just gonna write highlights. And then what you wanna do is you wanna go over to character, which is to the right, and you wanna make sure your font is cool vetica and your the bit below just says compress regular. I'll leave a link in the description to the download for this. I like to have it on 160 pixels by the way, and then you just wanna go up to a line and then just press this one here and this one here, and it should be in the middle. And then it, what you're gonna to wanna to do now is you wanna press Control Alt Home on your keyboard, and that should move this little um, target to the middle. And this is just so that when we uh, animate the text, it doesn't animate over here or over here. So now what you wanna do is you wanna add the shadow like you see in a lot of um, highlights videos. So to do this, you wanna just go and press Effects and Presets. And then you just wanna search Drop Shadow. You wanna drag in Perspective Drop Shadow onto your text and what I like to do is I like to go to opacity 100 and then I like to bring the distance out to about 15 and now I like to leave it like this but a lot of um, highlights um, creators usually increase the softness a bit just so that it looks a little bit like this and then what you can do is if, if you don't like it if you think you can't see it enough is you can just drag another one on and then use the exact same settings and it'll just make it a bit darker, like this. And then you have darker ones. So I'm gonna leave it like that, because I think that looks nice. But now we wanna get onto actually animating the text, you know, what you came for. So to do this, all you wanna do is you wanna click on the highlights text, and then you wanna click on this. Use 3D layer, so just below the 3D. And then you wanna scroll down, go to transform, and you just wanna keyframe at the start, on the Y rotation. So move your pinhead to the start of the thing and then keyframe Y rotation and then put it at 90 degrees. Then you just wanna keyframe like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's go about 15 frames ahead. Then you wanna turn this to zero. And then you wanna to go towards the end of the clip, place another keyframe and then scroll to the very end of the clip and turn this Y rotation to minus 90. So the opposite, so minus 90 instead of normal 90. And then this should look like it goes in and then goes out at the end. You can play around the keyframes. I think it looks better if it spends less time actually still. All right, so this is what it looks like. All right, but this is a little bit too smooth. Usually they um, add posterized time. So what we wanna do is you wanna go down like this and then you wanna right click on your highlights text and then you just want to click pre-compose. And then just press, there'll be a box that'll come up, just press OK. So now what you want to do is now you have this pre-composed. What you want to do is you want to go to effects and presets once again and just look for posterize time. So down here under time, posterize time, drag it onto the clip and then put the frame rate to about 20. And then it should look a little bit more choppy And that's usually what they have it. I, th I think it probably looks better at 10 or 15. So we'll, we'll go down a bit and see what it looks like. And I actually think I want to drag the keyframes out a bit so that it spends less time being still and more time moving. So you just want to, to do that, you just want to go into the pre-comp, press on it and press U, and then just move the middle keyframes towards each other more, like this. Now let's have a look at it again. So you just want to go back to this one by clicking over here. And this is what it should look like. And that is basically um, how the text is edited for most highlights videos. You see Soylen do it, you see Clerk do it. I think Nami does it a little bit, but it's usually a Soylen who I see do it the most. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Fire. Big dogs in this bitch, I walk in with the real dogs in this bitch, I got niggas on both sides.